I'm bored. It's late at night and I'm not tired. I want something to watch. Ooh, Rick and Morty. I've heard of this show. Let me watch it and see what it's about. That was a really good show and the voice acting was amazing. I wonder who created it. You've heard the recent news, haven't you? You check in on the news, right? I know I watch the news, at least sometimes, like I'm an old man watching the morning news after spewing my ideas on inflation and the rising gas prices in America. But I can confidently say that I have a grasp, at least on the basics of news and pop culture and stuff along those lines. What I mean is I get my news from that rap hip hop page on Instagram that pretty much posts anything but hip hop these days. That's where I get my news from. That and the news app for my iPhone. That's literally all I get my news from. But the topic for today's video is kind of a big one, if you've been keeping up with the news recently at least. And it's especially a big one if you're a fan of adult cartoons or Adult Swim, or if you're a fan of the show Rick and Morty, a very popular show and has been very popular for a very long time. As you may know or may not know, the big guy behind the big operation may be in big trouble and may just be behind bars. On January 24th of 2023, probably a couple days ago or yesterday depending on when I upload this video, the official Rick and Morty Twitter page announced that Adult Swim will be officially parting ways with Rick and Morty creator Justin Roiland or Roland or Ryland, I really don't know his name with the stuff he does, I really don't have enough respect to get it correct. Originally this case has kind of been kept out of the public eye nobody really knows about it because it happened actually a couple years back and just recently earlier this year has started to catch waves in the community its publicity is now starting to pretty much skyrocket and it's getting to the public eye and people are really not happy and they have justifiable reason to not be happy with Rick and Morty creator Justin Roiland. Here's a brief list of everything that the guy has done and I will try to throw it up on the screen for you. Justin Roiland has officially been charged through Orange County Jail with A, one count of domestic battery with corporal injury and B, one felony count of false imprisonment by menace, fraud, and or deceit. Basically, dude was getting violent. And to break those charges down for you, domestic battery with corporal injury is basically when someone assaults or injures someone and it leaves traumatic effects on the victim, while false imprisonment is someone basically holds someone hostage or someone as a prisoner or keeps them captive. And in this case, it was with ill intent and violence, which could get you some significant jail time. According to California Orange County Jail, false imprisonment can get you about 365 days in jail. But in this case, specifically because of the ill intent that went along with it, Justin Roiland is being charged with a little bit more than one year. But like I said before, these charges are just now catching the public eye, but they were actually filed in January of 2020 before the pandemic even hit. The victim in question is yet to be named. I assume she would like to remain anonymous, so at this point in the case she is being referred to as Jane Doe, which is basically when we refer to somebody as anonymous, we give them either Jane or John Doe, depending on male or female. So yes, the charges are very significant and they are very harsh. So now that we've laid out the man behind these terrible charges, the time it actually happened, and the person it actually happened to, because we don't really know the last one, it's completely anonymous, like I said, Jane Doe. Where does that leave our old pal, Justin, or in this case, our old friend that I will probably never give a crap about in the next five years because his career is over at this point if these charges follow through. Well, he is facing up to seven years in prison. Last se seven years of my life have went by pretty dang quick. Seven years ago, I was playing Minecraft as a little child, so that's quite a lot of time to be thrown in jail for, but with the charges given to him, it makes total sense. Now, a little bit of information about his plea. He, We actually do have information about what he pled to, and we actually know when he pled to it. Roughly 10 months after the charges in October of 2020, Justin Roiland pleaded not guilty to the charges set against him. And as of this point in the case, this is all that we really know about the Justin Roiland situation. We know when it happened, we know when the charges were set against him, we know when he pled not guilty, and now we know that he ain't with Adult Swim anymore, he's getting yacked from the company. That is all that myself and the public, general public knows at this point. So I guess after this, if more comes out, I'll either do another video about it or I'll just let you go and do your own research. But for right now, that's what the public knows, that's what we know can't really get any more information until it comes out naturally. So that leads us to the question, what is the future of the hit show Rick and Morty? Well, back in 2018, they were actually renewed for 70 more episodes, which is roughly going up to 10 seasons. Right now, the show is only sitting at 6, so that's 7, 8, 9, 
10. We've got four more seasons left in store, so what does that leave the show now that its creator and head voice actor for Rick and Morty is gone? Where does that leave us now? And this is a complete flashback to the original tweet. In the bottom of the tweet, they said that they were working with a very talented and dedicated team on season 7, so that leaves me to believe they're going to be bringing in new voice actors to play Rick and Morty in a new directive team that can reshape the show. So at this point in the story, that is your silver lining for Rick and Morty. It is staying on the air. It's just going to be a little bit different because Justin Roiland will not be the creative lead, nor have any part of it, nor be the voice actor. I will say I have heard some amazing impressions over the internet over the past few years of Rick and Morty, so for him to not be the voice actor, I think we'll be fine. I don't think we'll be able to hear much of a difference, and especially with the way the editing is nowadays, they can probably modify the voice to sound like Rick and Morty just from me. I could probably say something right now and go into a very expensive program that Adult Swim probably owns and modulate my voice, but they'll probably find real voice actors to do the job. In my personal opinion, am I confident? confident that the show is going to be good now that it's continuing without Justin Roiland. I hesitate to say yes because even though he is now a charged criminal, he is still the creator of the show. He is still the directive lead. He still knows that show through and through in his own heart. So for me to believe that it's going to be the same is just dumb. He's gone, so it's not going to be the same show. So do I think the continuation will be successful? Yeah. The show's coming back for more seasons. Will it be the same? I don't think so. There's going to be a lot of moving parts to bring the show back to its former glory and navigate these charges of Justin Roiland, but right now, I think we're in a good spot in the story. We've got the show coming back. It's still renewed for its seasons. Season 7 is already in the works without Justin Roiland, so they're already picking up the pieces that he shattered on the ground. So I think we're in for a semi-bright future, if not the brightest future we've seen for the show. So with that being said, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, if you have any more information on the topic, leave it down there. So if this video gets, I don't know, 10 views or a million views, I really don't care how many people watch it. Somebody may see that bit of information in the comments and give them a better understanding of the story that I couldn't give them. So that being said, thank you for watching Everyone and goodbye. Hated art. Been a minute, yeah, I'm all up in a nebula. Made a plastic, but I feel regular. I've been listening to y'all in a cellular ways. You need to track how you behave. Everybody finna be a grave. All you wanna do is ride a wave. I'm here to do shit right away. Yeah, I'm driven, I got that right away.